Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video I'm going to show you some easy, awesome new tools that Pixel Mash has to make animated um, uh, GIFs or sprite sheets or whatever, um, like this animated axe that you could see. Uh, this might be something in a video game that you use as a sprite sheet that's a animation for when a character throws a weapon or something. And um, between Pixel Mash's um, new uh, animate transform layer effect and uh, the vector based layers that we added fairly recently this becomes quite a breeze so let me show you first how this um, is set up just um, what I've got here so these are all vector layers um, so we've got the container we've got the blade which is vectors here you can see I can change those with my vector tool um, since they're all vectors I can adjust the the resolution the uh, pixel scale up here and it will look you know appropriate with the one pixel outline and and these wood grain lines on the handle being one pixel um, and uh, regardless of the the resolution and the pixel scale um, also uh, that makes it really nice to be able to animate with transforms so um, again I've got the the blade here I've got this layer, which is, I've called it sharp. It's basically um, just the, uh, the sort of honed edge of the blade, um, and it's clipped to the parent layer so that it will always stay within the bounds of that. I've got the handle here, um, which is a vector layer with a fill, and um, then I've got, I've drawn on these, as a separate layer, these wood grain lines which these are just vector lines that I drew on and gave them a stroke color so um, again those will scale really nicely with different resolutions and when we transform this so given that um, let's take a look at this new handy layer effect let me select the axe layer and it's this animate transform effect so we want to make sure, I've already added frames to our animation, so I've got an uh, 8 frame animation here, and I've added this animate transform. If I hit the spacebar, you'll see nothing happens, um, because we haven't added any speeds to things to be animated. Um, so let's go through this a little bit. So um, I'll go through each of these fields. The duration field is, these are this is in seconds. So if I want my animation to just loop um, or do whatever repeatedly, I leave this at zero. And we'll just leave that at zero right now. But as I said, there's this drop down that's the repeat type where you can loop it or do one shot or boomerang. Um, movement direction. So let's add some speed. Um, and so this speed, movement speed, is sort of how far per second should this Thing, animate and the units are the maximum resolution up here on your resolution slider so if I did 256 in this units in this movement speed it would over the course of one second it would move a full uh, width of the frame but we had this around 100 um, let's just put some movement speed on here let me put 128 and I've got to go to the first frame here, but you can see in the animation when I'm animating it, it's moving to the right. And um, again, because its speed is based on the, the resolution at the highest resolution on this resolution slider, I can still lower this and it will animate at the same relative speed across, um, across the animation, if that makes sense. So um, that is... Let me go back to my layer effect. That's movement speed. Let's put that back to zero so it's not moving. Uh, scale speed will do something similar. Where I'll just make it grow bigger or smaller. Um, and again, that's scale per second. And so one means it will stay at the same scale regardless. What we're really interested in here is rotation speed. And so we've got eight frames and we're doing four frames per second. So this is a two second animation. So if I want it to rotate to 360 degrees in two seconds, then I would put 180 in the rotation speed here. You can see in my live preview of the animation, it starts rotating just like we would like. 
and um, just a few things to note like you can change the uh, the center of the rotation so if I put it down here at the bottom of the handle you can see how it's rotating now around that or if I put it up here but I think right here is probably if I had chucked this axe then that would probably be about where it would rotate around but um, let me cl close this preview and I'll just arrow through these animation frames so again you can see because this is all vector based these all just um, transform really nicely uh, between frames and um, like I said the the grain lines on the handle those all stay one pixel wide as you automatically animate this so we didn't have to you know you could do this previously in pixel mesh by just um, setting up some keyframes with um, using transforms but this is just sort of an easy way to do if you've got an animation that's either just rotating or moving or scaling this can be a much uh, easier way to tweak it because then I can also like I can move this around wherever on here and um, it still animates nicely around that center of rotation so um, and then also let's just let me pop back open this preview window um, and let's for example if I wanted to change you know the shape of the handle or something I go into my vector tools and I maybe I want one of those handles that like kind of sticks out at the edge you can see I can adjust that and it's updated in my animation looks really nice and if I wanted a small axe for a certain small enemy I can scale it down or scale it up or whatever um, and uh, yeah basically any changes you make layer effects they all work great so um, again what you'd probably want to do with this after you've got it animating is you could go and export and export you know like a sprite sheet or whatever and then use it in your game uh, imported to your game engine so I hope that helps um, there's infinite things that you can do with this that are powerful and one of the things is if you um, prefer you know if you want to to uh, hand tweak every frame of this per pixel one thing that you can always do is you can um, go to edit and then uh, bake project resolution and effects and then what that does it's turned all of these animation frames into um, pixel frames at the um, at the resolution that I've got here and so then I can go through and hand edit those one at a time so hope that helps um, use our help send feedback menu item to send us your suggestions and we'll look forward to seeing what you make thanks